My name is Reverend Khan, and I want to thank God for watching us die. Hallelujah. Sorry for the noise. We are trusting God for our place. Praise the name of the Lord. So please, with all our humility, allow me to bring the welcome. Um, praise God. I want to talk, I'm talking about spiritual integrity after restoration. And uh, we have been going through a season of restoration. And I thank God because I had the word of God. And I feel like uh, the Lord has been uh, speaking to my heart so much about restitution. That God is restoring. He's gathering. He's bringing back that which we have lost for many years. And I was feeling that uh, as the man of God was teaching us, that uh, it is time, this time round, there's a spiritual amnesty. And that word really hit me hard. And I asked myself, if God was to come today, would I be among the people who would make it to heaven? And that is why James told us that we should not be teachers. Because teachers should be judged more harshly than other people. And I say, woe unto me. Woe unto my life. <laughs> Please pray for me. And as I preach, as I pray for you, I will also make it to heaven. It is one thing to preach and have a big church. It's another thing to make it to heaven. It is my prayer every morning. God, help me to make it to heaven. Because the road is narrow. And as God is blessing us, we are growing physically. And spiritually, we are having some deficiency in our system. So I pray that God will help us not to be uh, disrupted by the things that is happening in the world, but to focus to Jesus because he's the author and the finisher of our, of our faith. Praise be the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm continuing with the topic, spiritual Integrity. Today I want us to handle last week was talking about uh, that integrity brings what? Grace. God entrusts us with his grace when we do what? When we walk in integrity. So I want to handle the, the second last one, the second last uh, um, second last point. Then I believe by the grace of God we shall finish this topic today. Because God has given me a topic for next week. And it is cooking. Hallelujah. Amen. Same a cookie. cookie. It is in the it's on the fire. It is being prepared for us. God loves us. You know, one time a, 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 a sister of mine saw a, a vision. And because one thing I've been praying for, I've been asking God to be giving me a word. You know, there are people who give people their words. But my desire every day is that God give me a word for us. Because that word that comes from the Lord can never go back to the void. You know why our prayers sometimes are never answered? It's because we receive the words from people. There is no single word of God that drops on the ground like that. Every word that comes from his mouth must accomplish its purpose. So it is my desire that every time I stand before his people, I will give for the word that has come from the mouth of God. Why? Because it will not go back to him void. Praise God. So as we are praying, that has, that has been my prayer for so many years since we began the church. I have been praying that God give me a word every day, every Wednesday, every Sunday. And sometimes you are doing Monday Sundays. I was thinking, God, give me a word. And the God has been faithful. The one of us has God showed up a, a, a computer. And you know that, that uh, monitor. It's called a monitor. And in that monitor, there were so many portals. There were so many portals. Oh, I, I think icons. Oh, what are they called? Icons. Eh? Yeah, it's we. They are icons. One of you is so many other bad ideas. I will explain. See me at the sunset. I will explain. They, those icons, they were uh, the preachings and the message that God has put in my heart. So my work for us to tap one, and the words that I've preached already. They are marked a different color. And the ones that are still pending, there were so many. So my work was just to tap 
and the rest is, the rest of the last one. It's the Lord is serving me and I visit. it. So I thank God and thank you for praying for me. Your prayers have kept me home. What a stress I Not your prayer to better more than a pastor child. Yeah? And that pastor gives you that word. Hello? And that church gives you that food. And when you take that food, what happens? You begin to diarrhea. Praise the name of the living God. May God help us that we may keep the purity of the church, the purity of the altar, and the purity of the servant of God. Those that God will bring to us, that they will serve God in purity. Spiritual integrity. Point number six. What that does integrity do? Or does? Eh? No, that's not English. What integrity do? So number six, integrity produces accountability. Integrity. Anyone who walks in integrity, you become accountable. You become somebody who is willing to do what? To account for what God has entrusted in you. There is no way God can, can there is no way God, God can allow you to have these resources and you cannot be accountable to the resources that is given unto you. And that is what reminds me uh, this year. Last year when you went for prayer, remember when I came back, first of January, I told you what, this God is asking us to become accountable. And I say, the Lord told me that we shall account for everything that he has given unto us. You know what? As a pastor, I will account for your lives. Because it's God who has sent you. Remember the book of the Bible? It is God that prepares what? A pastor for us. So you did not come here by mistake. God prepared me to host you. Praise the Lord living God. So at the end of time, I will give an account. I will account for every soul that the Lord gave to me. And Jesus said when he was going, that nobody that the Father has given me shall be snatched away from my hand. So we are secure when we are meeting together with God and when we become accountable. So, integrity produces accountability. People who have integrity, they walk a life that is blameless. And that is why I was remembering a man of God called Samuel. When Samuel was about to die, he called all the Israelites, remember? And he asked, have I ever stolen anything from any of you? Have I ever been unjust to any of you? Samuel was blameless. Praise the name of the living God. He was accountable, and that is why the Bible says there is no word that he spoke that fell on the ground. Every single prophecy, every single word that came from the mouth of Samuel was, was fulfilled. What a question. So what is accountability? When a believer's life, when a believer lives a life full of integrity, then he becomes accountable. So accountability is being responsible for what you do and able to give a satisfactory reason for it. Nikwana uwezo wa kuishi maisha I mean, kuwa na what is that responsibility? Hey, my friend. Kuwa accountable ni kuwa mtu wabaya anaweza ku Thank you. Mutu wabaya na ajibika. Wana spiwe. Una ajibika na maisha yako. Na unaweza kupeana uh, sababu nzuri ya kuishi ni unaishi. Ama kufanya kile jama wano mefanya. Wana spiwe. So an accountable person is somebody who is being responsible. Ni mutu wabaya ako na wajibika ju wa hali ya ju. Ni mutu wabaya hawezi kuwa compromised. Ni mtu ambaye hawezi kufanya mambo ambayo hayampatii Mungu utukufu. Accountability means you become responsible. Hallelujah. How many of us today are responsible? How many of us today we can stand and tell God, I can account for my life. I can account for every word that has come from my mouth. Remember we said we were told the book of Matthew that we shall give an account of every idle word. Let me see. Well, I see you 
Hallelujah. So integrity is what will be accountability in the life of a believer. You become somebody who can be trusted. Somebody who can be saved. Somebody who can be entrusted by something. Hallelujah. People who are accountable are, able, are being able to be entrusted with something. God can entrust you with, with a calling. God can entrust you with a life. You know, there are people that God fears to call them to pastor. You know why? They can't be trusted with the lives of sisters in the church. Mungu wa mepatia wa shirika wa dada, na mewe ni ndugu, instead of doing the work of God, you are, unanyebelea, unamambia, kukunye kulipasie mkuo chioni, when they come to your house, unamambia, kuna mkuo wakali, tamini munale, wende asukui. Hello? You become irresponsible with the gift that God has given you. People that walk with God are those who will be accountable in this last dispensation. People that God will entrust with the lives of others and they will take care of those lives as if they are their own lives. Hey, people that God will entrust with work jobs. There are people that cannot be promoted because God fears your level of accountability is below average. Hallelujah. But those who are those who are accountable, they are able to grow from one level to another because you can give an account of whatever God has given us to you. There are some of us we are praying and asking God, hey, release power. Can God entrust you in this power? Can you be accountable with God's anointing? Can you be accountable with God's healing power? I want to say, 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 have you seen those guys? They pray for you, I want to say, are you accountable with the healing power? Are you accountable with the prophetic anointing? Praise God. It is only integrity that will determine how accountable you can be with the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Even financial blessings. I told you, there are people that God is afraid of releasing something because he knows when it lasts your hearts, you change your attitude. Yeah? You start telling me now, but see now, I can only go to kingdom seekers because they have a cathedral. So every Sunday morning, lay hands on me, release me to go to kingdom seekers. Why? Because the standards have changed. Hey, when I should be well. And then we have a place in we cannot go stairs at that thing. I can only go to this particular place. Because my level has changed. Can you be accountable, friends? Will you still remain humble the way you are when God gives you that money that you're asking for? Will you still be very prayerful when God releases whatever you're asking for? Will you still be very faithful when you become the CEO? Or you bring more from your place? You know, the one time one of our, my friends, was given a job in an orphanage. I hope you got to watch it. <laughs> so when he was given a job in an orphanage, there were very strict instructions. Go to your church and employ young men and women who can do what? Can come and take care of these children. But it seems he never understood the difference between the church and their home. So the guy went home and brought all the cousins, the nephews, the grand nephews, are they, are they there? And the pre-existing nephews. He brought all the entire village to a children's home. And he, he employed them and he gave them more money than he was supposed to do. So one time the, these guys came. And you know the way these people from up there, they are very, you know, they don't like lies, eh? So they called one of the little men, hey, you look like this guy, and you look like that. And he didn't catch them. So they didn't know what was happening. So the guy asked him, hey, you look like I I am the mother. You didn't know. And who about this one? This is my daughter, my last one. And this one, this one, he follows this one. So the mother explained without knowing that. And I was like, the man. Huh? What about this one? This one is my uncle's daughter. Where? And he was told to go to where? To church. 
the matatu na mbele si wao kusema basi wewe kutoka ulipayuka you know because they did the wrong thing at the wrong place so can you be accountable this morning can god entrust you can god walk with you can i trust you in this altar and you not defile it praise the name of the living god can the holy ghost trust you with the gifts of the spirit or when you are filled you will you will change your walking style and tell us you know nini hamuna roho so we need to wafunze kuongea kwa nini you know like someone you told me they will teach me how to remove demons how do you teach someone how to deliver people is there a manual for that it is the holy ghost that teaches people it is him actually who delivers you don't have the power to cast demons it is the holy ghost who cleanses the hearts of people accountability is a problem in the house of god may god help us to walk with integrity that we can be accountable for what god has given us parents god has placed children in our hands to become accountable for their lives and now he says train a child in the ways of the lord and when they grow up they will be part from them so who is supposed to train you will entrust the life to train for the future hallelujah so when you train a child you look like a cow you are training them to become cows in the future am i speaking who can wait a mosi utamfuka na kama maana atakuwa uncontrollable like a goat am i speaking if they are no they will not think for themselves ajua nilikuwa nasikia mtu akisema hichi na kwa hiyo tunataka kuambia Mungu ai ai we will go and debate with God you know God doesn't think we were coming with, with my sister from Katanga and I was telling my youth what the condo cross the rest of all they didn't know there's a road they all followed so we had to stop and keep going to condo hichi na kwa hiyo tunataka ku discuss with Mungu niambia mtu we can change this look for that name because condo I think it that is why economic is my condo and sign condo ina bila kula manyasi na kula manyasi condo ina bila kula nyoka na kula nyoka maana kasi ya condo ni kuti eh mungu kupatia hiki kama condo hallelujah ndio condo kama ile shaduka condo ambayo inafikiria praise god usikule manyasi usikule nyoka nikona mwingine akisema baada ya mahubiri tasa ifunguliwe kila mtu apatiwe tont na kondo na kuna tu eh praise god accountability is a problem and that is why we don't be out moving with the power that the church is supposed to have but god is restoring the power to the people who walk in integrity you will be worshiping and demon spirit i love today's worship we have sweated thank god of the lord the church will be a mess yeah when i speak it but because of that for now we are we are we are okay we are okay hallelujah when i feel as if i am so when you go deeper when you walk with integrity or with integrity then accountability is built in you you become somebody who can be trusted by someone it also means it is the willingness to accept responsibilities to account for one's action you are able to give an account of your own actions when a spirit integrity is what builds accountability mtu ambaye hana integrity hawezi kuwa na nini accountability so integrity builds our level of accountability and we become people who can be trusted you know somebody told me something on Sunday and I I didn't put in my mind But when I went home I asked myself questions you were with my sister here and someone told me you know when the animals from the wind you wait you know even the people who of the world they know the true pictures let us face it when I told them what they you got that what they see can you give me more bring it to your friend and it was it integrity Praise the name of the living God. When you live and life, people are watching what you are doing every day. Kumbuka, you have your own Lazaro to take care of. There's a Lazaro who is looking up to the rich man. There is somebody who is looking up to your life. That is why somebody can come and tell you, Mama, what can I do here? It is because there is a level of responsibility that you have that they are demanding. 
somebody who is admiring what you are doing, my sister. So you must be accountable. Whenever you go, whatever you do, you must be accountable. Because what? Because of your son. Because of others who are looking up to you. Hallelujah. What a super son. God can bless people who are older than you to be accountable for their lives.
our soul. I was supposed to, unless you were on a kingdom assignment somewhere else. But you are supposed to clean the church. You are waiting to be called to come and clean the church. You are not accountable. I'm just saying what you normally do, not in bad faith, eh? with all humility. In fact, I have no life here. Did you see a life? Praise the name of the living God. These small things, we are supposed to be accountable for them. And I'm telling you, if you are you are told you've been charged of thunder, sanitation, so forgive my, 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 my sleep of that, you'll be in charge of cleaning and you want to make sure that the place is clean. If you don't do that work, you shall account for it. If you are there to me, like my somebody here, and you fail to announce things and we forget, you'll be accountable. Hallelujah. You should put your to-do list and know in my office, I'm supposed to do one, two, three things. Because to the faithful, he shows himself faithful. To the, with the those with integrity, he shows integrity. God will reciprocate what you give to you. Am I speaking to someone? Yeah, you know today there's no amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. You must be responsible. You must give a satisfactory answer as to why you didn't do what you ought to do when you were told to do it. I'm telling you, church, where we are going, we will not be, we will not be asking for new things. Those who will be available will do it. Then you and your God will go spend with Him. One as you say. If you don't your work to water the flowers, if they dry up, you shall be accountable. They want to to someone. There are some small things that will hinder us from seeing God. Small foxes will block us from entering into our rest. Let us be careful. Let us execute our mandate with the highest level of integrity than ever before. If you are a couple, be responsible for one another. If you are a brother, take care of the other one. We are all a family of God. Hallelujah. If one of us sleeps hungry, we shall be accountable for that. May God open our eyes, church. That we may be able to be accountable for one another. See what Cain told God. Am I my brother's keeper? He was a very an uncountable human being. Rude person that I've ever seen. How can you answer God like that? It's very like bad me. Hey, who could you want to do the Can you imagine? We have so many kinds in the church. Kinds are so many. People who don't want to carry the other's body, there are so many. Me and that the way I am. Spending some good on you. Come up with some good on you, carry man. But as long as you connect yourself to a family, their problems become your problem automatically. Their tears become your tears. Do you have a word? Romans 12. That you should share. That you should share. We should give them accommodation. We should give them food. We should cry with them. Praise the name of the living God. That is what we call accountability in the house of God. You become accountable to your brother's life. If you see my young brother here sitting, you remove your eyes and tell him, brother, you are sitting. When you see you are spoiling our good name, stop sitting. What a spirit. Because when you fall, you affect us. We are so much interested with your life. I am so much interested. And don't tell me not to come to your house. I will come. Because I have a responsibility over your life. Praise the Lord. And I must come to your homes. Because I have responsibility. I am responsible for your lives. Yes. I don't know what you are eating. How you are dressing. That is why I am keen. When you come here with some funny clothes, I will tell you, mm -mm. because I am accountable for your lives. Can I speak? Yes. Well, I speak. Amen. 
not be your way, you will find me at your doorstep. I'm getting from that to do. I can't go there so soon. Dad, I caught him. Who is the owner of this jacket? Because if I measure, it is not your size. Who is the owner of this court? I am responsible for your lives. Praise the name of the Lord. So don't tell me, oh, see, oh, keep your mind your business. I have to mind yours. I will mind mine plus yours because I am responsible for your lives. I will give an account about your life. God can ask me, where is prayer? I should go. That is why when you live here, don't tell me I am annoyed. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. I must know where you are at any given point because I am accountable. What has you told Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Accountability goes beyond spirituality. It goes to the physical. Where is the Maharaj when you see Janda? Then you put your up to cost your money you have to explain <laughs> what is happening to your life. <laughs> These are the simple things that will require my brother behind there. And we think he might have to enjoy it because of one person who chose to over it. No, I must be aware. Am <laughs> I talking to someone? It goes beyond these things. It goes beyond. You know, what are you doing? I must know what is happening. You must know what is happening to your neighbor. Because we are accountable for one another. Friends, it is a very serious issue. Hello? One time I was in a church where my phone never used to care. And it came to a point. And the Lord showed me how we were scattered. We were in church, but we were so scattered. Everybody was doing their own business. And the Lord asked me, if you were me, would you do it in that place? So our unity is so important to God than our prayers. And as you it, our oneness. And as I say, where there is unity, God commands a blessing. There can be no blessing in ever increasing spirits of life when we are divided in mind and in heart. We must walk in the world to enjoy divine blessings. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. This is why I say I am accountable. Mm -hmm. And I will ask question. Who was that that you are holding hands at night and I don't know? I must ask questions Amen. because if I don't ask the questions, I will be asked. I will get up to the man. The more you grow integrity, the more accountable you become with the things of God. The more we release ourselves, the more we open our hearts for you, you the more we grow and the more accountable we become. If you are not rebuked, then you are loved. Can you imagine living with a mother? Who doesn't beat you? <laughs> yeah. By the way, I wasn't beaten by my mother. That's a testament. I was never beaten by my mother. But I was beaten by people. <laughs> who are... <laughs> you know that those who came before me, they did justice to my body. Until I used to go to my tea and they are my sisters. Hey! May God see you. May God forgive you. But I was just said, today I can stand before you and tell you what you did. Because I know my life. And I swear. You know, before you tell somebody about someone's life, check it once. Jesus told us, before you remove a spike in my eye, remove a law in your eye. Somebody is even touching their eyes now. Hallelujah. That's how we connect now. You see now? <laughs> before you remove what? A spike in this person's eye. Check your eyes yourself. Who is it with your baby that's a good one? That's why that Yako could not do two years of second. When you say, get your number of second, you are two. Hello? Nobody can backbite you if you are not a backbiter. They can only backbite because out of your abundance, they are the two years full of backbites. So, you will you, you, you receive, you receive forget. Hey, I'm not stupid. Don't tell me how perceiving. 
attracts the same. Light poles attract. This is over physics. That is physics, eh? Light poles what? Or a light poles? Where, where? Don't mislead the pastor. Is it light or a light? Yes! Positive attracts what? Negative. Those are light. Oh, goodness. And light poles. Will you just laugh at me? Only singing. And light poles. They do what? They attract each other. And that is why Paul told us bad company corrupts good works. Accountable. Be accountable. Don't just eat anything. You know, I've been telling you people about Don't just eat everything. The Holy Ghost is so much concerned with the kind of food you eat. Many people are behind me here. There's a place I went. I'm finishing. There's a place I went. And the food was so delicious. Please, I'm human. So I swam the first place. And I realized there's like a space. See, we do it in the <laughs> when I took that spoon to put my mouth, the Holy Ghost told me, I get angry. Food. Oh, my brother, I'm sitting on my nerves. Mazish. Mazish. You are going to buy somebody and you are eating six plates of food. Six. No, 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 you live in a flat like me. There is no door. So you can still eat as you are going. The Holy Ghost is interested with how you eat. You must be accountable of even the food you consume. Don't eat as if you are dying tomorrow. Oh, do you have you at least the last supper? Mm -mm. There's no last supper. Even the disciples, on the last supper, they continue to eat. Did they stop eating? It is only Jesus who stopped eating. But he ate when he was on his feet. Ah, what does he wait? He put a motion. But he had dispensation, he put a motion. But they still ate. So some of us, we eat as if it's the last supper. We are people. Tomorrow morning you won't wake up. So you are eating everything. You are like that foolish man who did a lot of farming. And I said, but now I can relax because I have a lovely store. I can go, you foolish man, today you die. Chakula, chakula, You must be accountable. Hallelujah. Aye. What must you wait? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Accountability goes everywhere. The way you talk, you must be accountable of your words. Even the way you spend your money. Some of us don't want a person. You know one time I used to have an account somewhere. And anytime I pass there, I go check the balance. See whether my money is still there. I put the bill, check the balance. So what I'm doing here too, you ain't getting it back. You try it too until the account became Zero. Praise God. You must be accountable with everything that God puts in your hands. The way you dress, don't tell me it's fashion. Yes, it is fashion to the world. But you, are you supposed to be like the world? No. Don't do this because the world is doing this. Do it because you know when I do this, I give glory to my Father. Because your body is the temple of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the temple of God. So God is interested in your life because you are carrying his temple inside you. He is carrying, you are carrying his temple in your heart. So God is interested in your life. He wants to know where you are going. He wants to know your friends. He wants to know where you work. You must be stationed somewhere. Hallelujah. May God help us to be accountable in our lives. May God help us to know that integrity is what unveils accountability. Integrity is what makes a person. Integrity carries your destiny. If you cannot walk with integrity, then you have no destiny ahead of you. 
Wewe ulikula yako. You know the guy said, let me tell you. When you are born, this is a question I got. When you are born, there is a party that God has put for you. Okay? So when you kiasa kuiba kasa wenyewe, you are reducing your budget. Hello? Why are you looking at me as well as me as you? Are we together? Yes, so when you, when you kiiba kasa mdosi, unapunguza kwa kawati yako, neko minus. So if God had destined that you, you live for 75 years, na budget yako ni one billion, na umeikula ukiba that, that you want to die. Because you use account will you be so way. Hello? That is why thieves don't, they don't live a long life. You know that. They die young because they have eaten their well before their time. They consume it in their stomach. So they can't live because they'll be eating in the people's accounts. That is why you should not be a thief. You are reducing your years. Let's <laughs> well, Kill out when you finish your budget. You have no work in this world. You leave us in peace. Go continue eating the spiritual food as we eat the physical food. Hallelujah. So the more you steal, kama ni kasi mutuwa kama nyewe, wana kwanja, iyo siku, ni pesa kapi, punguza kwa pesa yake, sakuwe. Mechukua saya kutu ya kukumi, they reduce on your budget. Ulitukua change ya 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 mdosi, they reduce in your budget. So at the end of the day, you have eaten your money before your time. So you have to leave this world very fast. Because you become a nuisance to those who are going to consume their money. Be responsible and accountable. Number seven, the last one. Integrity produces growth in ministry. When you live in integrity or with integrity, if you live with, with if you live a life that is full of integrity, it brings growth in your ministry. You are able to grow. You are able to accomplish the powers of God in your life. You are able to overcome any challenge because you mature in faith. Therefore, you mature in resources. Praise the name of the living God. So integrity is the maker of growth in our lives. What is the meaning of growth is the process of increasing in size. Huh? It also means the act or process or manner of growing. So, when you have integrity, what happens? You will increase in size. Katika moyo wako unakuwa. Hello? Katika tabia unakuwa. You grow even in what? In manners. Hallelujah. So that when you are given something by God, you take care of it, it becomes a tree. It gives you shape. It gives you wood. It gives you what? It helps soil erosion. You know? So you become all out. You grow in knowledge. You grow in wisdom. You grow. You grow in ministry. And you become somebody who can walk with God. Abraham walked with God. He was counted faithful. Not because of God. But he did not waver. He never wavered in his faith. What God told Abraham, he stood with it. So if you have integrity and you hear the word of God, you grow in that word. You grow in your ministry. You grow in your career because of the level of integrity that you walk with. What does God for me? People who fail in the career, they can, they might be short of integrity. Because integrity brings, brings growth in our lives. Because you become accountable, therefore, you take your what God has given you and you hold it in your heart. You, you make sure that whatever is in your hands never gets wrong because you have integrity. You can, you can incubate the vision. What I suppose that? You are able to incubate the vision until you give back to the thing that God has given you. But if you have given it, what happens to you? When God speaks to you, you pour the, the, the vision to the wrong people. They steal it. But integrity gives you the power to incubate whatever glory, grace, God has put upon your life. 
that is to work with God. Ask Moses. That's what the children of Israel they saw the works, but Moses did what? He knew God. Being afraid of God is a disaster. It is good, it is I love it. But you must be careful because a small mistake keeps you away from him. Integrity is what will help us get to our destinies. I don't talk so much. I have so much to tell you, but let me finish there. Because of time. No time. Because I don't want to overfeed you again. You become a mess. Huh? You to give room for what? For water. We are going to empty. Full of very. Hey, we're here. 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 We're here.
command this week that they shall not die. They shall not have any accident and they shall never lack that which they desire. You are our provider. Provide for them for the glory and honor of your name. We put our trust in you because you are our God and there is none like you. Bless them, lift them, and transform them. They will not die, but they will live, declare the goodness of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we pray and give thanks. Amen. If you are there, you are watching us, and you want to give your life to Christ, I want to pray. You to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I confess that I'm a sinner. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God. Come into my life and change me, that I may serve you with integrity and with the purpose that you have put upon my life. Today, I renounce the devil and his work, and I come to you, Lord. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Jesus, send the Holy Ghost to me, that he may walk with me and live with me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone who has prayed that prayer. May you be with them. Send them not to that place. A Bible teaching church that they shall be brought up in the ways of the Lord, that they want this part of it. I cover them and I pray for them, Lord. Transform them and keep them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I want to uh, pray that God will keep you well. And take you the place you can give to our this platform. Those who are God has blessed the seed. We have a church number 0712 823 826. I repeat 0712 or 12 823 826. If God has blessed you, you can give that support this ministry, and God will bless you. See you on Wednesday. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Ah, to us who are here, let's get on our feet.